I'm Levi Sim, and right now I'd like to show you the Vanguard 300, t, no GH 300T grip head tripod head. This is this is a ball head, but it's a grip head, and it's phenomenal. I think I think it's great. This um, all all you have to do to adjust the position of your camera with this head is flick this lever up, and then adjust it with the grip, and it's secure and it's smooth and it's light. And a really cool feature is that it's got a trigger right here. You see that yellow button? That yellow button triggers your camera. It comes with a cord for your DSLR that plugs into the bottom here and then runs into the side of your camera where the remote plugs in and pressing that button triggers your camera and you can slide it and lock it so that you can do bulb exposures without having a remote or a uh, intervalometer which is really, really cool. One thing I like about that is that I find when I'm making portraits of people, many times people uh, blink because they see my finger moving on the shutter button and that trick that cues them in that I'm about to take a picture and they blink uh, anticipating the, sh the flash of the lights. With the trigger right here, it's behind my column and I'm not up here pushing this button and I can trigger the camera without them seeing it. Also, I can be engaged with my subject and talking with them and discussing with them and giving them prompts on, on what to do and how to stand, and I can trigger the camera right here without reaching up there to push the button. It's a great way to work. So I like that button quite a lot. I like, I like how simple and smooth this is. It's got, you know, you can go vertical all the way. And then when you're vertical, well, let me start back up here. When you get to a place and you're doing landscape photography, for instance, and you put out your tripod, maybe you run the legs out all the same length, but the, the ground isn't level. Traditionally, if I wanna make a panning photograph, if I wanna do a panorama and stitch several frames together, I would have to first level the legs of my tripod and then I can pan and get a level photograph. But with this, it's wonderful because I don't have to level the legs. I can set them up however I like and then just level my head because the panning sits on top of the ball right there. And with the panning on top of the ball, the only thing that I have to level is right here. And it doesn't matter if my legs are level or not. Does that make sense? It is really liberating. Also, I like it for vertical panoramas because when it's in that vertical position, you just, uh, you just loosen there and then you're, you're panning straight vertically without any sideways slip like you have with a traditional ball head. So I like that about it. Um, and here's what the whole thing looks like without a camera mounted. Now you can also adjust the angle of this, um, this handle just by pulling out this collar and giving this a twist when it's loose, you can adjust the position of that handle left or right handed, whichever you like. Often I like to work the tripod with my left hand while I work the buttons on my camera with my right. And I don't have to, I don't have to have it pointed right towards me. It's not a gun. It's just a handle. So I can have it over here and I can twist the pan so that my camera is facing straight this way and I can work like this and have a very comfortable position. I can even trigger with my left hand. It's got a friction knob right up here so I can adjust how tight um, the, the, the movement of the ball is when it's not locked. Um, and then, and so that's cool. It's got um, degree markers around the pan which is really nice when you're doing panoramas because you can choose, you know, I know that it needs to overlap 25%. And when I look through my viewfinder, I find that moving it three ticks moves it that far. And it's got little, it's got little clicks. So you can kind of count how far you've gone without looking. You can say one, two, three, click, one, two, three, click, and, and get a solid overlap without even looking at it. So that's pretty cool. Um, what else? It's a great ball head. Oh, I also like it for use when I'm, I'm glassing wildlife because I just put this guy on here. These are my binoculars with the, um, with the tripod adapter attached. And again, I can put that, that handle any which way. You have to loosen that and then I can put the handle anywhere I like. And so I can be just glassing along and find something that I wanna see. And when I find something interesting, I lock it down right there, lock it down on top. And now I can switch this one out and put my spotting scope on in the same position and still get the same view, which is really cool. And, and it's just, it's a really comfortable way 
to use binoculars and spotting scopes as well because because um, all the adjustments are right here I've got that friction adjustment I can pan on top and and just being able to to, to smoothly and simply adjust the uh, the tension and position my view is a great way to work so this is the Vanguard GH 300 T the grip head 300 T and I would recommend it there's a link below where you can check it out. So thanks for joining me.